Welcome to the Cross Points Podcast, our quarantine hey. episodes. Woohoo! Quarantining podcasting. I know. So, Aura, what in the world have you been up to? How have you been managing your time with the kids and the quarantine and your hubby? Oh my goodness. Well, we've kind of become bird watchers. <laughs> like <laughs> we've gotten really I guess if you have to do something, you might as well look outside, right? <laughs> I know. Well, I like ordered a bird book and we're like identifying the birds and uh, my father-in-law is a really big bird nerd, and he's really <laughs> no, he's now. not. I like yes, I don't believe it. So now. You, hold it. If you don't know, Tom is one of the elders in our church, and yes. he's on board for the last couple of years. I had no idea he was a bird watcher. He's a oh, bird bird. He's a real birder. He would totally go on a big year and try to see how many birds he could find in a year. He's a real birder, and he's now an influencer because we are now becoming like total bird watchers. <laughs> now hold it. He has a little book where he checks off all the different birds that he's seen. Yes, he does. And Do he's you know how many seen, he's seen? He's seen 23 in his backyard. Okay. We are determined to beat his number. Okay. Well, because I'm thinking 23 is not a whole lot. I mean, I, I mean, what do I know? I am not a bird nerd, so. Yeah, that's what, that's only something that a non-bird nerd would say. I mean, like, you probably <laughs> see like three of the same species over and over and over again. <laughs> so, in fact, 23 is a lot then. It's a good number. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're not there yet, but I think we're going to beat him. I feel like we're going to beat him. We what? have bald eagles in our backyard. Hold, hold it. Like our national treasure, our, the yes. bald eating away. It's so cool. They have, they like swim or they fly down into the lake and pick up a bird and they've been eating them on our tree in our backyard. I mean, it's amazing. It's hold it, hold it. You're, you're saying more than one bald eagle that you guys have? Two. We've seen two at the same time. That's crazy. It's so cool. I didn't even know bald eagles lived in the state of Kansas. I know. I told our girls that like we were super American. I was like, you are guys you sure know like, bald yeah, how American we are. <laughs> are you sure they're bald eagles? Yes, positive. I mean, come on. It's just the bird you see like all growing up. It's like the easiest to identify. It's huge too. Wow. That's I know. absolutely yeah. incredible. It's so cool. We're really into it. We have binoculars. We put bird feeders out. We're, we are like that is what we're doing with our quarantine time. Focusing <laughs> on the birds, learning about spring, the whole thing. So, how many birds have you seen? I think we're up to fifteen, Ooh. but we just started tracking like a week ago. So, oh, I'm hoping so for some more. You got Tom. You got. I him. know. We are totally going to beat him. Okay. <laughs> what have you been doing? It's Holy Week. What are you like? Are you like so busy with that? Oh my goodness! It is. I told our. I told our staff and a couple other people. I feel like we have planted a church in like two or three weeks because, because everything is different everything it's all different and people you know it, it's one people are wonderful right but they don't understand the technology behind everything that we're doing and we're trying to you know take it up another level and so we had been doing live stream services before but we had to get new equipment we had to get lights and cameras and bring it to everybody's homes and then we had to stitch it all together when we put it together and then we all we are actually going live sometimes as well so when i say like heather and i are going live from our house on a sunday morning like it's really live it's not pretty it is oh yeah oh my yeah. goodness so, so i was talking kind of on sunday with like drew's house and his whole like setup it looked so cool and i was like where is he how are they doing that where is he right now <laughs> he, he, this is his basement and he, he said so good. It, it, it's his basement. he said if you turn the camera just a little bit he said you would just be totally amazed at how he said it's just a disaster but the perfect <laughs> shot you know we've got it just framed he's he's awesome it looks awesome yeah it's fun so so we've been putting together uh for holy week we are uh going to be having a good friday service so everybody that's watching good friday we're actually going to take communion together i'm so excited about this that's cool. we all get to do that together so that's seven o'clock um tomorrow actually uh, friday night seven o'clock no yes. no no no. yeah well whatever yeah it's free. yes seven o'clock friday i'm losing yeah. track of my days here I know. <laughs> friday. that's what the quarantine uh, does to you i know so yeah seven o'clock tomorrow we'd love to have you guys come and then of course easter we're we're gearing up for that we're, we're putting together some really oh you know i'll say this 
Give us a teaser. Well, okay, I'm gonna say this. You know, sometimes you have these ideas in your head that you think are gonna be really, really good. And then you put it on video and sometimes it's like a bust and sometimes it's like, oh, it's awesome. And yeah. so I don't know what this is gonna be because it's one of those things where it's gonna be really, really good or it's just gonna kind of fall kind of flat. But I think it's gonna be great, okay? We're introducing uh, a new song that Pastor Drew is doing and there's some elements behind that. And then I am doing a, um, kind of a testimony type thing and and that's all I'm gonna say mm -hmm. but we're gonna involve a lot of people and it's gonna be so much fun so wow what a yeah. tease I like that that's yeah, a great perfect. little teaser I mean everybody needs to and by the way if you guys want to tune in the services air at what time David okay so we are live at 9 and 11 a.m. Uh, on Sunday morning, so. And are you still gonna do the kids service on Sunday? Yes, thank you. Okay, I'm so glad okay. you said that. Man, uh, 10 o'clock on Sunday, so nine o'clock adult, 10 o'clock kids, 11 o'clock adult. And Pastor Andy and his wife, Kaya, have been doing a phenomenal job. Have your kids so been watching? Good. Oh yeah, we are loving it. Are you? Yeah, I lo I'm dancing to the moves that are like the little, and like my kids are like, stop, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is our church, stop it. <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. I'm so glad. Yeah, we, we uh, again, that was a whole other thing that Pastor Andy kind of put together because we just knew that the kids kind of needed their own thing. And totally. I have been like, not surprised, but like genuinely encouraged that the kids are like engaging in church. They're into it. And my kids are young. I have toddlers and they're, they're watching it. They're into it. So I, I really like it. It's so good. And then we have um, our um, XSM student ministry that takes place on Wednesday night. And they're doing small groups during the week. And they're doing Instagram lives. And they're doing uh, cooking shows and building shows. I mean, it's, awesome. uh, it's all over the board. It's crazy. Wow, we are totally online churching it. And we are thriving. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it, I, I, I mean, I feel like we're really connecting with people. And and I think, obviously, you know, in order to connect with people, people have to connect with us, too. So we just encourage yeah. people to, to go online and really click and watch and engage. And I'll say that one last thing, too. I just want to say, uh, especially for um, our Sunday morning services, um, I was talking with our staff, and um, uh, we were just trying to think of ways in which we can get people to really engage on a Sunday morning. So that they're not just watching like Netflix, right? Because yeah. church is not Netflix. You don't just binge. You don't just watch, right? And so uh, Heather and I, this Sunday, we just said, hey, we want you to stand up, lift your hands, really, you know, sing. Act like you're in church because you are a church. The church isn't a yeah. building. And so Pastor Nick said, you know what? I, I, was, I was one of those who was guilty. I'd be on the computer typing or doing, you know, trying to, you know, multitask. Mm -hmm. And he said, I stood up. I put my hands in the air and I just started worshiping. He says, I felt God's presence in a really powerful way. So we're trying to challenge people. Yes. Engage. Don't spectate. Participate. Don't spectate. Well, we are planning on Easter to dress up, put on our Easter hats, <laughs> yeah. dress up for the service, for the Easter service in our own house. I <laughs> love it. it. <laughs> I love it. I want you to take some pictures. That yeah, we will. We will. I always like what? to wear a Easter hat, so... You know what we should do? I'm serious. This is so good. We should have everybody take a picture. We should have everybody take a picture. That was my son, by the way. <laughs> uh, at home podcast. <laughs> at home podcast, everybody. Uh, we should have everybody take a picture of them in their Easter uh, clothes. Yes. And yes. yes, so tag it Cross Points KC. I'm gonna we're, I'm gonna try to have uh, Jennifer start putting that out to everybody. Yeah, Thank totally. You. Yes. Easter best. Put on yes. your Easter best. <laughs> okay. So, Aura, what are we doing today? Well, you know, you're at home. You're with people that you're with all the time. You're running out of things to talk about. Why not come up with some fun, odd conversation starters? I like it. In their own home. So, we're telling everybody you can use some of these questions that we're going to be asking each other to help with some of your conversation starters. I think yeah. it'll be kind of fun. Just liven, liven things up, you know? Uh, okay, Aura. So you are going to go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't talk about who would go first, so I'm <laughs> going in honor. Okay, so Aura, here's my first one. We can kind of go back and forth, okay? Okay, cool. But here is my first conversation starter with you. And the question is, 
what old person things do you do? <laughs> everybody has those. And I don't care if you're 80 and you're watching this, right? I mean, everybody has this old, quote, old person thing that they do. So I mean, other than bird watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that is I am an old soul. Like I am, I DVR Jeopardy. That's a great Jeopardy. One. I put it on my DVR. I love watching Jeopardy. You do not. I am. I I, do. Come on. Jeopardy? I love Jeopardy. Sometimes Has that been on the air movies. since like nineteen yeah. fifty something? Or what? I know it's so good. <laughs> they know what's working. It's like still going. That's why it's still going. Um, I like to embroider. That's kind of old school. Okay. And Hold I, it. You're gonna have to show me some of your embroidery. Do, do you I know. Put it, I like, have to find one. Do you have, I'll have to find one? Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll find one. Do you like do it on those circle things and you? I have some in a circle things and some things I just like personalize, like in my diaper bag. I like personalize all these bags that say like diapers or clothes or whatever. Okay. And I just embroider cute cursive on it and stuff. Okay. Like that. Um, so those are probably like some really, really, I mean, I'm a reader. That's kind of an older. Oh, and word searches. I'm really into word searches right now. <laughs> Are, you, you, now, are you talking about like you have a uh, like a piece of paper and you're doing word searches? Yes. Oh, look, I'm doing right there. Word searches. I, I have think, a couple books of these, and I'm zooming through. I mean, like, like this is quarantine life for me right now. You are you are one step away from moving to Florida. That's all I. Have. <laughs> Somebody get me some doilies. I'm ready to just embrace who I am. You, you have plastic on your couch at all, or anything like that? <laughs> No, my grandma totally had that though. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> oh that's so okay. funny. I'm ready to hit back at you. Okay, go for it. Okay. If you were God, what songs would be playing in heaven and what songs would be playing in hell? <laughs> okay, I got this. Okay. I got this. Uh you know, I am a kid of the eighties. Okay. But I was not allowed to listen to secular music as a kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was like taboo. That was a no-no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we grew up with um, my parents. Grew up in kind of the hippie days when they got when they gave their lives to Jesus. So they threw out their TV out the window. Like they threw it was a demon <laughs> box. It was a demon box. So so I live a very sheltered life when it comes to culture <laughs> stuff. And okay. this is my son. He wants to get on the recording. We're actually recording. Hey. This is live <laughs> to everybody. Hi. Hi. All right. All right. <laughs> What's your favorite song? Um, I don't know. He's, he's, you like Fire and Ice? I like, yes. Steve Camp, Fire and Ice. Or has never heard of it. Never. I've literally never heard of it. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a link in the description. Some of these <laughs> old classic. So what would play in heaven for me are these classic 80s Christian songs that okay. I love. That might be in hell for me. I don't know. <laughs> Keith, Green, Keith Green. Have you heard of Keith? You've heard of Keith. Oh, yeah. I've heard of Keith Green. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keith Green, DeGarmo and Key. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, Steve Camp. Um, oh, just, you know, just a whole. Is Steve, Camp Grant, related to Jeremy Smith. Camp? Is Steve Camp related to Jeremy Camp? No. Okay. No. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to let you hear some of the songs. They're pr pretty crazy. So, All right. What about in hell? Play, now, okay. What would play in hell? The song yeah. I think would just like, yeah, Ethan wants to be a star today, so he's like, okay. okay. The songs that would play in hell today uh, would be country and Western songs. I, uh, oh, it, it, except, there would be one exception. Okay. Okay, because this is a song that we've been singing on some of the walks that we've gone on in quarantine. Oh, wow, okay. He takes his phone and we play, uh, what is it called? Country Road by Don John Denver. Don Denver. Oh yes, I know that song very well. Exception, but every other country and western song is. What about piano? Oh, that's not country and western. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Ethan, you're going to tell us what what would be your songs that you would want to play up in heaven all the time. Um, I don't know, piano. Oh, he loves piano. Music. Oh yeah, a nice little instrumental. That feels very heavenish. I'm I'm down with that. He's actually learning how to play the piano, so. They say this is like the prime time to get a new hobby and learn the piano. Learn a language, learn an instrument. It's I'm true. on board. It's true. Okay, uh, Ethan, we're going to ask Aura a question now. Okay. 
Why don't you Why don't you ask her? Can you ask her? Yeah. Okay. Ask uh, her nice, nice and loud. Somebody can hear. Her. What did you think was cool when you were young, but isn't cool now? What did Say I that think? one more time so she can think about it. What did you think was cool when you were young, but isn't cool now? Oh boy, maybe screamo music. Aura was always cool. See that? I cool. mean, I just like breathe cool. It's really hard for me to imagine not being cool. But if I was gonna like maybe put myself in David's shoes, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I okay. I used to be really into screamo, which is like screaming music. That's also what screamo is. Oh man, that's so um, bad. I was like really into it. I was passionate about it. I felt that it was a missed art that people did not appreciate. And now I would say. I don't appreciate it. Not into it. <laughs> I want to know how did you get into screamo? Like what? I mean, no one just like walks into screamo. <laughs> I think it was also like a fa like it must have been more popular, like wide stream popular. I don't know, but no, um, I don't think so. Hawthorne Heights. I was like really into this band, Hawthorne Heights, and there was like a Christian version of that, almost like falling up. Did like a little bit of. Screamo no, vibe. There's no such thing as Christian Screamo or uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen to Falling Up, see what you think. <laughs> we'll put a we'll put a link in that one. Falling Up. I don't know. I don't know that one. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, so, I feel like that's my answer for that. That's that's pretty good. So, you know, she's kind of already, you know, doing things that are kind of old anyways. I don't know if those are cool. She's got embroidery. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. They're still cool, David. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what fictional character would you want with you during quarantine? Mm, what fictional character would I want in quarantine with me? Yes. You can answer too, Ethan. Feel free. I know I'm thinking. Yeah, are you thinking? Okay. Okay, I think I think I have an idea. This is gonna be I, I think this is gonna be good. I would want um we saw Aladdin in the movie. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> and I want the genie. No, you hated I Aladdin. hated the movie. I absolutely I hated the movie. I thought you want, do you want Will Smith or you want the genie? No, no, no. I want I want the genie. I want Will Smith and the genie combined. I want I want that genie. That doesn't work out. <laughs> Come on, give me my dream here. Because I like it. He could give me all these wishes, and he made yeah. life so fun. It was like a party all the time, and I love a party. You're just being selfish now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I like that. He could really liven up quarantine time. That's a pretty good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan, what do you think? Who are you thinking of? I still have no idea. You're still thinking. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll let him keep thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the genie's a good answer, though. Yeah. Right. I, th I just think it would liven things up, so. Yeah, totally, yeah. I like Okay, let me ask you a question now. Okay, this goes to another movie, okay? okay. But I think it's, did you think of something? No, I Oh, okay. I'm not. Okay, he's, he's gonna pass on that one. Okay. Okay, um, this goes to another movie, and it's something that, that we're actually like living right now, okay? okay. I know, so here we go. Okay, I'm gonna say it. If you had to relive only one day of your life forever, oh boy, <laughs> which day would you choose? This is like the whole Groundhog Day. I know. You know, this has been in the news. I don't know if you've caught this, but a lot of people feel like they're living Groundhog Day because their their days are just like so similar all the time. You know, I'm not, that is true. I'm not third job like until one. Okay. I um I saw like a funny like meme that was like an Amazon delivery saying it would be there on Wednesday and the person was like, When is Wednesday? <laughs> That's how it feels. Every day is the same. <laughs> it is so true. Um, okay, what day would I want to relive over? Mm -hmm. A lot of people might say like when their kids were born. No, because I had to do the birthing, so absolutely right. not. Right. Um my wedding day, no, wasn't into I mean it was fine, but you I would, would rather elope if I was going to do it again. 
<laughs> we have never talked about your wedding day. That should be another podcast. Be oh, honest, boy. Because um, uh, yeah, I would love to hear, and I've done so many different weddings, I could share <laughs> some funny stories. So. Oh, boy. Not, not, not sure, but I not would sure. not relive that day. Okay. Um, I don't really have a day that I, like, even in my mind, would be like, I would relive it over and I would choose none of the days. Is that an option? Zero days to relive. So you would just pick some random day and you would just live it over and over. Yeah, totally. Not like a very specific day, just like a, a, a nice sunny day, maybe when we were home visiting California and, you know, something like that. Laura, I, my, my, I'm, I'm feeling a little, I don't know, a little, little sad for you. I'm like, <laughs> do you not have one of those days where you're like, oh, that was so good. I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've like a peak day. Say that again. I mean, I don't think I've had a peak day where I've been like, can we do this 70,000 times? I'd be like, no, let's move on to tomorrow. It was good. Great day. Let's have tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I guess that's true. Okay. So the follow-up question with that is, what's one day that you would like to like completely remove all together from your oh, life boy. yeah yeah maybe like a, one of the graduations like a high school or college graduation day because they take forever and you have to like just sit there and it's not very fun but like all your family's there so it's a little bit stressful and like there's just i just like no i'm not really into those days i think that's good sitting there and listening to all the names go off Yes. Oh my. The names and you're just like, it's forever. You're bored out of your mind. And everybody is bored. I mean, collectively. I don't know anybody that's excited about seeing. I know. Sorry, movies. you heard that trash book. Yeah, there's, the, I brought a book to both of them. Like I was reading. I mean, it's so boring. What are you doing? Brought like, a book. The commencement speakers. And she's like, come on, let's go. <laughs> I can see Aura with her book. Like she didn't care. She was so cool. She didn't care what other people think. She's just doing her <laughs> I just thought, like, you guys didn't think ahead. What can I say? <laughs> so uh, that's, good. that's good. Okay. okay, are you ready for one? I'm ready. Okay, this, I think, tells a lot about who you are as a person. How early do you like to go to the airport? She likes going early. Okay. She likes going at, like, 5 a.m. Uh, can I tell you something? I, I want to tell you something. Before 9-11, mm -hmm. okay, I traveled all the time. Okay, I'm not kidding you. I, I was a missions pastor. I traveled international. I've been to, I don't know, 30 or 40 different countries all over the world. I've tried new okay, airports. Yeah, okay, people now. people know about that. Okay, so, <laughs> see, what a bragger. My here. So, <laughs> but the point is, is that I would always show up like maybe a half hour before the flight was to take off. Okay, yeah. Okay, and sometimes I'd get there 10 minutes before. Okay, I like it. Living life on the edge. All right. Oh, and and they always, what would happen is that they would always get you on the plane. It didn't matter what time you showed up. As long as you were there five minutes before, they would work really hard to get you on the plane. Okay. But after 9-11, yeah. everything changed. And they'll let you miss the flight. They don't care. Like, if you're not there, you know, a half hour early, you're you're not going on that plane. Yes. And it's crazy now, now. I'm paranoid. <laughs> And he knows this. So I'm always showing up a couple of hours early before the flight. Oh boy. Oh, Are yeah. you, have you ever missed a flight? Is the paranoia valid? Have you missed a flight? No, I haven't missed a flight. <laughs> but, uh, but there is like anxiety in me. Like we're gonna miss this flight. I've gotta be there, gotta drop off the car. How long is it gonna take for me to drop that car off and get my bags and get on the uh, bus that's gonna take me to the door? Oh yeah, the shuttle, you have to check in, you have to do your bags. Oh, yeah. Here comes the trash truck again. It's really loud, I'm just gonna pass it here. Yeah. We're live folks. I, I feel like that happen. says a lot about your personality. Yeah. That you do that. I don't know what it says, but it probably has something to do with your whole Enneagram number or something like that. <laughs> now, do you do you get a little nervous about flights and getting on the plane? No, not really. I'm a little, um, I mean, I'm very prepared. I'm like, I pack the week before, like very prepared, kind of. But then I'm really like, we'll make it. It'll be fine. Like if our bags come late, that's fine. So <laughs> you, you're not stressed at all. You got. I'm it. not really. No, I'm really not. I'm kind of just an hour, hour before is kind of my yeah, like show up sometime an hour before. Well, that's good. <laughs>
Okay. Or I got, here's a question for you. This is a classic question. So this is not, oh. very, this is not very original, but our oh, okay. people can still use it. Okay. All right. Fair What's enough. the most embarrassing thing you did at school when you were a kid? Oh boy. I know. Right. Um, I don't get embarrassed. I am perfect in every way. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew she was going to say something like that. Um, okay. Well, in college, there was a time where, do you guys, have, do you know what college weekends are? Do you know what that is? You like go and visit the college you and you like visit the there. college and do this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Exactly. So I went to where I went, Oral Roberts, and for a college weekend and you're like hanging out with people. You're feeling very cool. I mean, you're a high schooler at college. Oh, very cool. So and I remember like going into the dorm and like saying goodbye to like all my sister's friends. My sister went to college and like feeling very cool. Like all these college kids, like so fun hanging out with guys. See you later. And I turned and I thought the elevator was open, but it was closed. And I just walked straight into the elevator doors, like waving to everybody. And I was like mortified. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that's so like embarrassing. A, that's a classic movie line right there. You know, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I know. I, I swear it was open when I looked, and then like it must have just closed. <laughs> it probably did. It was so. I just like didn't turn around and just took the stairs. I was well, like, okay. I was gonna ask you, did anybody say anything to you? You didn't stick around. <laughs> I did not wait. I didn't like go, oh, I'll just like, I just was like, oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> oh, that is funny. It was oh, really embarrassing. That, that's it. That's a Gilmore girl moment right there. You're right. I am, I live like a Gilmore girl. What can I say? I know you do. Hey, this is my son that we started watching Gilmore girls with us. She oh my gosh. Gilmore girl fan. I live and breathe Gilmore girls. What do you think so far? <laughs> is it changing your life? Do you feel like you want to talk faster? Are you drinking coffee all the time? I need to know it all. <laughs> um, I, I like the show. <laughs> That's a boy answer for you. I like the show. I think even that I asked you 45 questions and you answered one question. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen, I haven't, we haven't finished the first season yet. Yeah, we're still okay. going through the first season. Um, so. Yeah. I, the first season's really good. So okay. off to a great start. Now we know. I know. Let me ask you one more question, David. One more question. Okay. I feel like I was going to ask you a question, but that's about music that I, now I'm thinking you probably never listened to. So I'm going to say, um, if you had a magic box that could bring back any inanimate object that you've lost in your life, what would you bring back? Ooh. If I had any inanimate object I could bring back. Yes. Okay, now I got my other son. Oh, that was Jack. Everybody say hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. I got all wow, my what quick this is right now. All right, good. <laughs> okay, um, I, the the bo the th this is going to sound really strange. Okay. There's, there's a pair. There's two, I'm going to bring back two objects. Okay, your okay. old favorite pair of glasses. Nope. Okay. The, the, the first one is I saw Star the original Star Wars movie in the theater with my dad. It's the first movie I ever saw. Wow. So Star okay. Wars, The Living Hope, the, you know, A New, a new, a new hope. hope. Sorry, not A Living Hope. That's a Christian thing. But How a new hope. Hope. Okay, so I had all of the Star Wars action figures. Luke wow. and Leah and Chewbacca. Leia. Leia. I always call her Leah. I don't know why, but Leia. I know. And Leah, really? See, these it's guys, to be honest. I, I, would bring, I would bring all those characters back. I would love to have those characters, okay? And then the other thing I bring back as a kid is I are, have you ever heard of Evil Knievel? Oh my gosh! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, Evil Knievel was awesome. Yes, I think the guy who's playing who plays Jess in Gilmore Girls, who you haven't met yet, Ethan, he's gonna be in a movie all about Evil Knievel. Just wait, little teaser. Okay. Look, look at that. Okay, so Evil Knievel was awesome. I loved Evil Knievel, and I had a little action figure that you would wind up, and he was on his motorcycle. And you'd wind him up, and then once you wound him up, you pushed a button, and he would actually jump. I mean, his his motorcycle yes. would like go crazy, and then you could try to get it to jump like the real Evil Knievel. That's like a Toy Story character or something. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Oh, was it a Toy Story character? I think so. I don't know. Something like that. Jack says yes. So that, yes, then it's close enough. Close enough. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, Oprah. Last question for you that I've got okay. is: What was your worst fashion disaster 
Oh boy. Oh I had, yeah. I had a lot of them. I had a lot of them. I don't have them anymore, obviously. Well, no, <laughs> I, I knew you didn't now, but I, I'm sure, you know, years ago you had to be <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Well, gosh, the options are endless. <laughs> I was really into like looking very individual, like nobody would wear what I wore or have my style. I, that was kind of my brand. You were sure. you were a solo individualist. No exactly. one was gonna copy Aura Hayes. That's exactly right. And so I feel like that led itself to a lot of poor decisions. But <laughs> one of them was I used to keep my hair completely curly and like a huge afro. And I would just choose very random spots to bleach. Like there was no, like it wasn't like highlights. I would just like grab a chunk and bleach it. And I had like just chunks all over my head that were randomly like bleach blonde in this huge afro. Ethan is saying, why? Why? I have since made better decisions, Ethan, but it was a poor, it, and it was years. It was like two or three years that I was like, this is my signature style. Okay, okay, listen, do you have any photos of those? I'm sure I could find one. I'll try to find one. I want to see, I want to see you with an afro oh my God. and then yeah. with the bleach part. I want to I want us to put up a picture of that. That would be Okay. Awesome. I, I will try it. And at some point I like cut my afro so that when I straightened it I had like a faux hawk where it would like go up. You did not. <laughs> I was cool. I was a screamo listening, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. Oh my goodness. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Well, we'll try to put links in the descriptions on all of this stuff. Uh, <laughs> so fun. So fun. Aura, thank you again for uh, joining with me today, doing this podcast. Hey. I'm so loving it. It's been so much fun. Yes. And don't forget, everybody, Holy Week. Don't forget about our Good Friday service tomorrow night at 7 yes. and our Easter services at 9 and 11, kids' service at 10. That's right. And dress up. And send us your photos. Yes, dress up. Wear your Easter best. I want to see an Easter bonnet. Let's see it all. Let's do it. I think Easter, Ethan might dress up in his suit. I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. He's got a full white suit. It's pretty awesome. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Ethan, you have to wear it. You have to wear it. I'm so excited. I might even put up a photo of Ethan in his full white suit. It is awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. I love it. It's so good. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>